Hi, this is Vicki Goforth Parnell, and I've come to share another dream with you. This is called the Chihuahua Dog Dream. I had it on 6 at 7.44 a.m. Now, this is actually 6 at 3.37 p.m., so I'm not sure if I will be sharing this today or tomorrow, Lord willing. Okay, so let's say a prayer. Father God, we come to you, Lord, in the name of Jesus. And I bind all hindrances, Lord. I bind all attacks from Satan in all shape, form, size, in the name of Jesus. I cancel his his pharmacia, his witchcraft, everything, Father, in Jesus' name. And I stand here boldly in your power and your might. You said to get this out, I will get it out in the name of Jesus. So I take authority of every plot, gin, snare, device, scheme, Wicked arrow, wicked dart, I remove them in the name of Jesus and us such like, whatever he's throwing from his kingdom. And I wrap every spirit that's been assigned from the hierarchy of Satan. And in the name of Jesus, past, present, and future. And I wrap them up with everlasting change, dipped in the fortified, glorified, fortified blood of Jesus. And I also pike you. I pike you from growing to head. I cut off your ears, your nose. I put out your eyes with a hot rod of iron, enhanced with the fire of God. And in the name of Jesus, I burn out your tongue. I chop you into a trillion little pieces and I cast you in front of Satan's gate in the name of Jesus. Now, Father God, every place you vacate it, let your holy presence fill. And anoint me, Lord, anoint me. Let your words be fluent through me in Jesus' name. And Father, if this is not from you, you shut me down, Lord. Because I do not want any fame, credit, glory, even my face known, Lord. I just want your perfect will to be done. Jesus, I want your will to be done on earth as it is in heaven. So Holy Spirit, open the eyes and the ears of every person listening and soften it to the truth in Jesus' name. Amen. Alright, this is called the Chihuahua Dog Dream. And... It's concerning things I've been battling, so the Lord is speaking to me and answering, confirming things. But I'm going to share it, so maybe it will help someone else. I dreamed I was in a, in a school last night, an elementary school, and I wasn't a student. I'm not sure why I am there. I was in line as if we were all going to get on a bus to leave. It was a strange thing to me because I know it wasn't yet time or the bus rides. As we're standing in line, a flustered, dark-headed, heavy-set woman enters carrying a small black chihuahua dog, wrapped in a quilted pink holder, which appeared to be somehow like a type of a arm sling, in which she kept the little dog inside. I could see just the head of the small dog. It had brown above the collar uh, of the it had brown about the color of caramel that was under the face and throat with a little near its mouth. But the rest I could see was solid black. She came rushing over to me and said quickly, all flustered like, Here, hold my dog. I've got to get the bus. With no time to refuse, she placed the dog in, in the quilted blanket sling covering her quickly into my arms. It happened so fast I didn't have a chance to complain before she turned around to head back down the way she came. As she rounds a corner, I hear her yell back at me, Take care of my dog or you will be walking home. Then she was gone. She was completely out of sight. I looked down at the dog who wouldn't look at me as she bared her teeth with a low men menacing growl. Oh no, we'll not have that, I said in a voice of authority. And immediately the dog's ears laid flat and her eyes looked up at me in a look of submissiveness. Good, I said to the dog. Oh, Jesus, what am I supposed to do with the dog until we leave? The little dog began squirming, then looked at me with almost pleading eyes. I understood immediately. It wants to go to the bathroom. I seemed to know by its actions what the little dog wanted. Okay, I said quickly, and then looked around to see my sister and my brother standing in the line behind me. I knew they were other, there were all other adults there too, but I didn't see them directly. I did acknowledge them though by saying, please watch the children and make sure they get safely on the bus. I have to take the bus driver's dog outside to do her business. The lady behind my brother 
answered promptly, No problem. We've got this. Go ahead. My brother and sister said not a word, but kept looking forward, standing in the line with hands clasped with arms crossed in front of them. The way they were holding their arms looked very uncomfortable, yet there they stood, this way, both of them. I headed down the corridor the bus driver had went through until I came to the door. I pushed it open, and I saw in the far distance school buses lined up in a long line, but they were not moving, nor did I hear the sound of any motors running. I looked down at the small dog, and I said sharply, You better not run away. She looked at me with huge, round, innocent eyes. I don't trust the dog, yet I feel the need to let her do her business before the long ride home. I set her down, and she lifts up her leg and quickly pees. Okay, so she is a he. So much for the little pink bow on her head. I watch as the dog lowers her leg, but then looks me straight in the eye and bares her teeth again. Uh-uh, I said quickly. You stay still in Jesus' name and don't move. He glared at me with hatred, then looked all around for an escape avenue, but he couldn't move. The little dog looked at me now with a look of pure malice, because he knew he had to obey my command through the name of Jesus. I heard myself ask the dog, What? You didn't know the Holy Spirit is a revealer of all things? Now I command you to keep your mouth shut. There will be no biting or barking. You will be a good little doggy. You are pretending to be. And since you like parading as a dog, I cut all your cords to your real body and burn them up in an explosion inside each of the bodies too, in Jesus' name. This dog, had someone had astral projected into this dog. The dog's eyes grew wide in panic. Then it howled out momentarily in pain. And then it slumped down in defeat. I knew in this dream the person who had astral projected into this dog was now forever trapped by me cutting and burning up its cords in Jesus' name. And under the leading of the Holy Spirit, my sweet, sweet, dear friend. Now I'm picking you back up and returning you to your now permanent owner. You will not resist me or bite me in any way I command in the name of Jesus also, there will be no retaliation of any kind on any being, person, place, or thing, known or unknown, past, present, or future, from this timeline or another, nor other dimensions, portal, travel, realities, the metaverse, or such like ever. And in the name of Jesus, no retaliation for my prayer on this video. Thank you, Jesus. I declare and decree this in the mighty name of Jesus. This is how I prayed in my dream, so that's why it's in here. I then swooped down with the pink quilted sling carry and picked up the male dog with the pink bow still attached to the top of his head. He let out a slow growl. That was all he could do. He was defeated and trapped and knew he had came up against a true child of God that knew and walked in the power of her Savior Jesus. And then the dream ended. Okay, I'm sorry, then the scene changed. I'm handing the dog from inside the door of the bus back to the bus driver lady who is sitting in the driver's seat. She quickly takes the dog back, giving it a warm hug. The dog's eyes are now filled with fear as the, as the, one, as the one trapped inside it realizes this is his forever fate. I looked around quickly and see the children are already on the bus. Get in, the lady driver said quickly. Thank you, but I have arrived. I drove this morning. Okay, then she said as I backed out of the bus, the bus's open door. Thank you again, she said, for watching Poochie. Ah, it was my pleasure, I said, as the dog gave me a hateful look. Then the door of the bus closed, and I stepped back a few steps and waved. Then I awoke. These things really happen. Okay, the verses are Psalms 37, 32 through 33, Deuteronomy 18 9 through 12 Ephesians 5 11 Job 5 12 and Romans 8 31 through 37 Now for those of you that thinks that's nonsense I would recommend under the leading of the Holy Spirit or covering yourself under the blood and do a little research 
these things very well happen. Not only enter animals, they will enter birds and such things and spy on you. But greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. All right, with that being said, take everything to the Lord in prayer. Do not ever take my word. You take it to the Lord in prayer. Seek it out. Search it out. Ask the Holy Spirit to open up your understanding, give you a divine revelation in Jesus' name. And he will. He said, ask and you shall receive. Jeremiah 33, 3, call unto me, and I will answer thee, and show thee great and mighty things that thou knewest not. That goes along with discernment. I apologize for the noise. It seems like some kids have found the drums over there. All right, if you don't know Jesus, first and foremost, that's why our ministry is here for. If you don't know Jesus, you need to know him. And if you're backslidden, or if you think you're all right, if you've not checked in a long time, you might want to get down on your, your knees and ask the Holy Spirit to reveal to you if there's anything that would keep you from going when Jesus comes. Anything. His standards are higher than ours. And he will try to lead everyone to be ready. Be holy as I am holy. That is a command, but it also means that if, it's, if he said it, it's a possibility for it to, to be done. So let the Holy Spirit lead you. Stay in the Word, pray, fast, and, and spend time. It means sacrificing some of your personal time to have personal time with the one you confess to know and love the most, Jesus Christ. All right, with that being said, for those of you that don't know Jesus and you would like to know Him, I say welcome. Jesus is a love like no other. He is pure love. He is unconditional love. Because He will love you regardless of what you do. Now, He'll hate the sin, but He will love you. He loves you with an agape love. So if you don't know Him, now's the time. And I invite you to open your hearts, say this prayer with me. It's by grace you're saved. You can't work your way in. You can't clean yourself up before you come to Jesus. He does the cleaning up. So please pray this prayer with me. Jesus, come into my heart. Forgive me of my sins and wash me clean. I accept you as my Lord and Savior. I believe you are the Son of the living God, Jehovah. And I believe you rose again and you were of a virgin birth. I accept your Holy Spirit, the gift of the Holy Spirit, also that you give freely to those who ask. And ask him to become powerful in me and to become alive in me and help me to have the boldness and the anointing to do all I need to do in Jesus name. I accept you as my Lord and Savior and confess you before God and man this very moment. Amen. And it's that simple. It's that simple. All right, if you've accepted Jesus as your Savior, again, I would say get you a hard copy of the word. You never know what's coming in this world. They're going to soon take up these Bibles, excuse me, and um, start reading. And I would recommend if you've never read the Bible to read in John, but pray and ask the Holy Spirit to lead you where. Pray which Bible to get, because the Holy Spirit is not limited in His power. He can speak through anything. So with that being said, understand, this is the inspired Word of God, inspired by the Holy Spirit for men to write for us. But it is also Jesus, the Word made flesh. You want to know your Savior? Get into the Word and get into prayer. And be obedient. If you have any questions, or I would recommend also you find a church if you can, but pray about that. And if you have any questions, or even you want to let us know that you received Jesus as your Savior, we will be delighted to hear from you. And our prayer email is pray.856myjesus at gmail.com. There's been some people saying that the email is incorrect, so we will be checking to make sure it is correct under all the videos and everything else. So bear with us. If you can't, if you if your email is saying it's not going through, try going to www.mylovelyjesus.com, and there the email is written there. Also, that is the prayer email. That's the only way to get in contact with me. Um, with that being said, stay under the blood. You know that Jesus is Lord and He is coming. And it sounds like we have a 
Party of Birds singing, which I've done prayed over. So with that being said, stay under the blood and know that Jesus is coming soon. Bye-bye.